Guess who's here with me right now? Gary Arona. Dot com. What's up, Gary? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Of course I'm here. <laughs> what would it be? I guess we could do just a podcast where you just, I hit record and walk away. You could. See, I'm letting everybody know you that just, you are here. You just start talking and it's the Tabitha. It's 100%, 100% Tabitha. Boring. I mean, I could talk everybody's ear off seriously for an hour and make up shit. Not like fake stories, but just like, just keep talking. But. It's no fun without you. You're my partner in crime. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yes. I appreciate that. What is in your head? What is in, let's probe the head. The head? So many so many of our shows become almost like, like I don't know, what? like a therapy session or something. It seems lately, we've had a few rants mm -hmm. lately, and I'm always asking you probing questions i'm trying to dig out what's in tabitha stevens you, all right this is a funny mind. thing he's trying to probe this out everybody yet i'm with him almost 24 hours a day so but, just but, just go in and ask but something. no man can truly ever completely understand any woman ever it, true it will not happen no we know this so we're constantly perplexed yes uh sometimes surprised mm -hmm. sometimes overwhelmed Sometimes really? in fear, sometimes... Sometimes you're like, whoa, whoa look at those titties. In disgust. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> you said disgust as I said, look at those titties. <laughs> hey. I wasn't even looking at what you were doing. I'm for, just doing stuff. For those listening and not watching this podcast, Tabitha <laughs> kind of pulled down on her very low cleavage top as it is and yes. revealed a little more. You didn't reveal anything, but you just no, made just more it cleavage -y. For fun. I do this and all I, the time. I happened to be saying disgust, and I, I didn't even see what you were doing. Thanks a lot. And then I looked over, I and see, it was I like... I see where this is going, Gary. It's not. Well, it's so funny because this is how it is at home for us all the time. I'm always doing something random and weird. And there's Gary looking at me like, what are you doing? Because I'll just yeah. run around the house naked and just start dancing and shaking my well, ass. Well, everybody knows that. It's That's <sighs> not unusual. But what's in, extraordinary are the unusual positions and places that you put yourself when you're running around naked, taking pictures for Twitter and all of that. You, you're you very creative. And so I'll walk into a room and it's not that you're just sitting in a chair or standing or laying on a bed. You're, right. you're you know half off the bed, upside down, legs open, twisted and contorted in such a way that you're hiding it a little bit. Right. You come up with unusual, really yes. unusual positions. It's because I am positions. unusual. <laughs> you know, are there any unusual positions left in the world? I don't think so. Given the billions and billions of photographs that are... I don't think so. Uploaded every day. I wonder what the amount of actual photographs uploaded onto the internet in every mm -hmm. form is every day. It must be like 3 billion, right? I don't know. How many people are there on earth? I don't know. To figure this out. Really? Do you really? No, my point being okay. um, the, the opportunities for the extraordinary are thinning. <laughs> yes. It's, yes. It's, it's like a, a man going bald or a woman going bald. It's just the hair thinning. It's thinning. Yes. You like my analogy? How yeah. about the analogy I made on Twitter the other day? Nobody fucking got it. Really? It wasn't an analogy. One person got it. It was a metaphor. I'm sorry, metaphor, whatever, fucking I right. don't give a shit. It was about how I'm sick and tired. I'm going to rant. It's Valentine's Day, and I'm going to rant. How about this? This is if there ever was a day that's yes, that's it's a good day. Proper for well, you to rant. This would probably be that day. Yes, because you know what? I'm so full of love. <laughs> so you'll rant. <laughs> so I'm going to rant. Why not? Because everybody knows okay. I'm full of love. But hey, great. you know what, Gary? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. Where's my fucking chocolate? See, you guys. <laughs> He didn't get me any. Well, never. I've never done that in my entire life. I don't think. I I, I'm sure ever... if your ex-wife, you did. I'm sure she got in your ass. Recall, I don't recall. I'm sure you did. I'm not a. You said it. I'm not a holiday guy. I'm just. You're not. Not, not at all. It's kind of weird. Not. It's. I don't, I don't know. But my birthday is this weekend. And I'm not so, a bah humbug. I'm like a holiday oh, er, everyday kind of guy. No, you are a bah humbug on holidays. You are. I don't know why. Whatever. Okay. Look at you. Whatever. Screw this holiday. <gasps> is this a real holiday? Valentine's oh, it's Day. It's for fun. Who the hell is Saint Valentine's? Like I don't know. This it's dude. it's a um. 
Oh, there is a story about St. Valentine's. I can look it up on my phone. Right. But it's, uh, it's Well, go involved. on your rant. I jumped into... On I don't even know of, what I was going to rant about. You were going to rant about your metaphor. Oh, yeah. That I was, whatever, calling something else. Um, yes, my metaphor. Okay. This is how it is. I am sick and tired. Fuck, I can't believe I'm saying it. I am so admitting shit right now. Oh, my God. Okay. I told you, this is like psychology, this it show. It is. Guys, girls. Guys, listen carefully. Yes, okay. I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Yes. I don't but, know which one. But you which, endorse but, my statements? No. <laughs> but I endorse. Yes. <laughs> no, ahead. but here's the thing, okay? I guess it's because you and I work on our own. Okay, we do everything ourselves. We do. We fucking work our asses off. And yeah, I'm on Twitter a lot. But you know what? When you have a phone or an iPad next to you, you can just pick it up and tweet real quick. It takes two fucking seconds. So that doesn't mean that the entire day has gone by and I haven't done a goddamn thing. It just means that I could just pick up my phone, tweet real quick and whatever. Big deal. Okay, anybody can do that. You can do it from work. You can do it from home. I have anywhere. no idea where this is going. Just let me finish. Okay, all right. So... I am tired of being accused of, not in so many words of being accused, maybe that's, well, yeah, it is kind of being accused, of me being like, oh, yeah, sure, you don't really do much. How much do you really do if you're so busy because you're on Twitter? Okay? I don't understand the connection. So they're saying that you don't do anything because well, some people, people yes. see a lot of tweets? And not just that. Okay? Think of the connection like this. They're really saying that because you tweet a lot that you are you don't do anything? That, that, that there's not much no that I do. Whatsoever. Like, how busy could I be? But it's not just going out to regular people. Right. It's going out to people I do interviews for or with or whatever. Um, it's it's just going out to people uh, who okay. I just, feel... I, I caught it. I caught it. I got gotcha. you. That I do not, that I'm, oh, can we cut? No, just keep going. I, I, I'm like so, bra- I'm pissed off. You can be, you are, you, you have a Sorry. right. Oh my God, wow. No. But, no, but you know what it but is? But you're right to, all right, here's, you have right. a right to be pissed off. All right, here it is, okay. We all have our moments, have your okay. moment. Okay, everybody right. tap. I'm going to, I'm going to say my, what's going on that's been bothering me. Fuck it, I don't care. There's a person that wanted an interview that I met at AVN. And I'm glad and happy to do interviews. I have no problem doing them, okay? I did say that this person emailed me the interviews and I got the questions and wanted he wants this huge thing. You know, he wants, you know, answers like as big and broad as possible. There's okay? a lot of questions lot on of questions. the list. Yes. The list that and was I sent And I started over. doing them. Right. The problem is we get busy. Of course. So We're that's where I'm swamped. getting to. Okay, but... I had said to the person, you know, I'll try and get them done tonight. And I thought I could do them th- that night, sure. but I couldn't because I'm tired. Life and happens. Life happens. Exactly. Right. And what, hap- <laughs> what, what happened in my life, I know. Um, so what happens is I had, he had been asking me, he's texting me. Uh, how are you coming with the questions? How are you coming along with the questions? And I kept every single text message because that's how I am. I keep my texts. And I said, hey, you know, I'm really busy camming, podcasting, prepping our new movie that we're doing. And I have so much shit going on. I started the questions. I'll get them to you as soon as possible. Right. Yeah, he said, as soon as you so have a chance. So he said, okay. He right. said, okay. But then again, after that. What, a day or two later? A few days. You know, uh, again, uh, how are the questions coming along? Oh, did so you finish the answers? So he's just being a pest. Well, it's over and over. And you know what? I understand he's because... He's being pushy. It, yes. And I understand. I did say I would do them. I would try to get yes. them done that one and night. And you will. And I don't and, have to. And I will. And you will. You will. But you know what? We all get busy. We all get... But this is the thing. This is what gets me. Okay? Okay. And this is to anybody out there. And I don't mean to sound like a fucking cocky bitch. But if you keep telling me to do something and you keep bugging me over and, is, and over. And, and, and you're this is not somebody, getting paid for this. I'm not getting paid. This is free. Right. This is, it's an interview for free. You're doing this out of the kindness of your heart. And, and okay. you know what? I'm helping them out right. too. Oh, so, are you kidding me? You're giving them a gift. This is a gift because then they can then put this up on their site. Right, because the stuff I would divulge I don't know, is, I don't pretty, know how, is pretty cool. You sure, know? I don't know how they're monetizing their site, but you are giving them a gift, which is more exactly. content, which you can equate to money. Right. You're giving them a gift. So 
I'm like, okay. And I explained to this person, listen, you know, I'm very busy. I, I, I text him back and explained everything to him. And I was a little bit harsh. I, I didn't mean to be a dick, but it wasn't, you, you read it. You know what I you said. You weren't being a dick. Don't worry. Well, the response back. You're just saying, look, I'll get to it. I'm swamped is basically right. what you were saying. The, the message back was, whoa, whoa, you were the one who said you would and have you know this done what? by that night. Sorry, dude. Sorry. And I, I was like, wow. And like, I'm going to be totally honest. Go ahead. Come in and please jump in because totally I'm just pissed I told, about this. I told Tabitha, no, no more communication with this person because you know what? You know, there's this, there's a, de- to, there's a degree of respect that doesn't exist there. I appreciate people that are aggressive with what they do. But not pushy. However... When you cross that line and you're offering up a gift and saying, look, I'll get to it when I can, but I'll get to it. Right. And that person persists. Mm-hmm. That person doesn't deserve your gift. And I'm sorry, but I say, no, don't communicate with them. They email you, text you, whatever. Too bad. Lost opportunity. And you've got to be that way. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, people will run right over you. Because that just... And not no. to mention the fact that... I had passed him on to Kenji because Ken has a really good story. So I thought, you know what? It'll help Kenji out just to get more out there, you know? And this guy, it helps him out a lot. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, I did something even cooler and I was going to have him do an interview with you as well. And then it's like, wow, like you're going to come snap at me? Like, who the fuck are you? I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't really know you. And you're going to, but that's in general to anybody. Like, again, if somebody's going to do, and, I, I'll get to it. I will. I've always done the interviews. I said but I was going to it do, takes a little and time. it takes a little time. And I did really. I I thought for sure I'd be able to get them done. And the more you know how I am, mm-hmm. if I'm going to answer questions, it's not going to be those quick. You know how how did you get in the business? It's going to be like oh I felt like being a porn star. It's so not like those right. So one let's take things. this broader. Let's take okay. Tabitha's rant and her story. <laughs> yes, and um, help the world a little bit. And Gary gets <laughs> preachy for a second again. Oh, here we go. And say, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Let me sign the cross. <laughs> no, no, don't do that oh, cross crap. No, I'm joking. Okay. It was a joke. Okay, I... that's a good joke, but I ain't taking that crap seriously. You know, my seriously. Valentine's Day is getting Here's... violent Valentine's it's, Day. It's the, it's the Valentine's Day rant. No, it's a, it's a violent the violent Valentine's Day rant. That's the title of this podcast. You just came up with it. I did. That's brilliant. Point, <laughs> point to the world. Yes. Life's too goddamn short. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when people get like that, Mm -hmm. and there are plenty of people like that out in the world, Mm -hmm. you know what? It's really simple. You're watching television. You don't like a program that comes on. What do you do? You change. Turn the TV off. Or you change the channel. Or you change the channel. Right. It's that simple. Life is too short for disrespectful, pushy people. Turn the TV off or change the channel. Period. Oh, period. No, we we got to go back to what I was, my metaphor. Yes. That's how it came about. Okay. So going full circle where the metaphor started, I had tweeted out, and that wasn't just to that person. This is just to people who do this to me, who put me in these really On weird positions. On a constant positions. basis. Yes, yes. And it's constant. Um, I had said, you know, it's time for me to, uh, <laughs> to grow a new garden and get rid of the weeds, you know, kind of just like weed out all the, all the crap pretty mm-hmm. much. And let's, let's plant some beautiful flowers. Spring is coming. Yes. So to me, it's like, you know what? I don't need bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know, I can seriously, not just myself, Gary and I, cause we're a team can turn around. We could sell everything we have if we want to. Okay. We own things. Okay. We can sell everything, get in a fucking Airstream trailer <laughs> and fucking go all over the fucking United States. Then if we want to say, Hey, fuck it, let's go to Europe for three, four, five months, and just stay there. And we can podcast there. I can even cam from there. I can do whatever the fuck I want. But, you know, it's like I like that freedom, and I don't like when somebody right. comes well, in and tries to put their thumb down on me as to say, uh, no, 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 dear. And it's like, whoa, ho, 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 ho. Well, we're both the same time way. Out. We're both kind of time an- out. anti-pseudo-authority figures anyway. I have a hard time with that. Right. Well, no, you, that you, you did and the appropriate thing. And it's gotten worse through well, the years. Sure, because as you get older, you're less Because you less see the bullshit, don't, right? Am I right? Willing to deal with. Because you don't want bullshit. Ridiculous. And I, I don't want to come off like a dick, but it, you know what? It's my life. And like you said, you live one life. You got to enjoy it. And you I'm look, not going to worry about you've got to do, all this bullshit. You've got to do some spring cleaning. If you don't do spring cleaning your house... 
years later is just too full of dust and shit and crap and everything else. You got to do your spring cleaning. Fuck you. No, I'm planting that fucking to. garden. So you have to know I'm when. I'm fucking chew, pulling those right, weeds, so using the weed killer. You know what? Adios, amigo. Let's go. Right. So but there's got... there's going to be a big clean sweep coming. Yeah. Well, that's Real good. Real quick here. Seriously. That's, that's good. On Twitter, on Facebook, all that. Because I try to be as social as possible. And the other day on Facebook, you ready for this? So I post some pictures, which you know I'm against pretty much on Facebook because they take your pictures and do whatever they want. But, you know, I want to give some of the people who aren't following me on Twitter some pictures. And, of course, they're not nudes or anything like that. But some of them, you know, are in bikinis. You know what some guy wrote on my wall? Knowing, okay, that my family's on there, you're on there. Oh, I'd love to fuck you. Yeah. Really? Really? And I'm like, well, you know what? Thanks. My husband and my family read this. So now you're deleted. You're blocked. Right. You know, and it's like, I shouldn't have to. Well, Just you know, fucking respect people. You know, fucking a couple, respect. Uh, the, was it the last podcast that I had my Twitter rage or was it the one before? Last. Was it the last one? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't tweeted rage. since. No, you haven't. I haven't. I've stuck Do you feel to better? It. I yeah. want to know about this. See, I kind of yeah, have feel, to. Well, you have to because we talked about this because of, you know, you're, you're the personality in the in the. But, fan, but how like, is it going for you, Gary? Great. Because you it. seem happier. I do. I am. I just, you know, I don't, because here's the thing is, is that you don't allow other people's garbage to infiltrate your mind. And then there's a big problem That's with that. That's true. Because you know what? You're when right. You're, you're on, absolutely right. When you're on Twitter, you know, you've got this influx of information coming from who? From other people. Right. Many of whom you don't know in person, you mm-hmm. know, and on a personal level at all. And right. so who knows what their their personal psychologies are. So you're mm-hmm. allowing the psychology of other people who you don't even know, you don't know their intentions, good or right. or bad, mm-hmm. uh, to in to infect, if you will, to plant a kind of a virus in, in your mind and mm-hmm. it affects your day. And we're all human and we are um, affected by these things. Our minds are affected by external stimuli that come in to our brains therefore you're going to be affected and so what happened when i turned off twitter in essence for myself right is i was a lot more i'm I'm more relaxed a lot more relaxed i mean i went out yesterday working on this script i went out and i put my little backpack on and i took my little portable chair and i drove out to the red rocks and and found a nice spot in in a creek of River Rock in the Red Rocks and mm-hmm. sat there and wrote for a few hours with, with just as, as peaceful as can possibly be. Wait, it wasn't as peaceful, but we're going to oh. get to that in a minute because Gary has a really cool, funny you story. That up. I had to because I was cracking up when you said this. I'm like, wow, all this crazy shit happens was, to you. And you know what? That's I'm I do kind have of, crazy you know shit what? that happens to That makes me sad. I'm like a magnet. No, 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 no. It's no, not no, sad. No, it's, it's sad for me because hell. you have better sh- stories now. I have no, nothing to say. Yes, you are. You kidding me? Please, you have great. You the the stories of the last podcast about your sister and the language. I and told her about that. Here's too. the thing. Here's the thing. You have so many life experiences yeah. and stories that are so far out of the realm of normal everyday True. folks that you don't even realize. No, it. and I get that, but I want current stories. <laughs> You don't, you, no, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. You toss in a few current stories, but then you pull from your, your vault of <laughs> My mind life vault. stories <laughs> and your vault of yes. life stories is thick and you constantly do this. Hmm. Okay. You discount yourself for that. I'm not discounting. And the thing is, is you should be, why aren't you sharing these stories? You have, every time you tell me a new story, I'm just kind of like, holy crap. Cause you have had you have to remind crazy me. Okay, this is shit happen. You have to remind But you assume me. that old stuff is not good stuff, and that's I wrong. I do not. No, I do not. I'm trying to save it for the book. But this Forget is the thing. Get it. Get it out I there. I know. It's time to get it out there. So Forget you know what we can do? It. What? I have an idea. Okay. Why don't we, because I have a list of things that I was going to put in the book anyway, and maybe we can just bring up one of those topics okay. every other podcast or whatever. So we can talk about things. Because there has been fucked up shit that's then happened I to me, told, cool stuff that's happened. I right. understand, and I'm not but I've told you. That. I've told... I'm, I was just I'm waiting sorry, I'm for the I'm reprimanding. I've told you yeah, over and over so and over. I am so not afraid of you. I, I know you're not. So, look at this. I am so <laughs> not afraid of you. What are you. See, you're laughing. Is that See, disgusting, Gary? Those listening... Are you getting disgusted by this? Just hang Ugh. there for a second. Hang there. Hang so, here? Yeah. So for those oh, no, listening... Oh, no, no, wait, no. Let me explain it. No, let me explain it. So for those listening and not watching... 
Tabitha has pulled her top down yes. to expose her breasts because <laughs> as a brilliant woman, she knows uh-huh. that if she wants to make, you know, a guy melt and just chill out, that's all she's got to do. <laughs> and the guy's not going to be angry anymore. I'm just saying ha 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 to you. And he's not going to be yeah. violent. He's going to be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. See, look, he's laughing. No, tell me what happened. There wasn't there something that happened before the golf ball. Yes, balls. there was. Explain what happened. Oh this my is god! Funny. It's like every time I go off and try to just get away and find solitude, it's just harder and harder. At any rate, as I expressed before, I was going off to work on the script out in the great outdoors. Now that we have things like iPads, it's so cool and so easy. Whose to idea do. was it? Your idea. Okay. Yes. So I have my little backpack on. I pulled, I didn't want to really drive off into a deep area. I just want to kind of make it easy because Mm -hmm. I just want to kind of get to the riding. And so what I did was I drove out to the Red Rocks. I didn't pull into the big loop area. Right. Along the highway, there's a big kind of an overlook pullout. It's like one of those places where you see the little um, picture of the camera and it says, take your, you know, view area or whatever. Right. Anyway, there's like maybe 50 spaces or something or maybe less. And, it's a big overlook and you can see all the red rocks in the distance. And if you walk, there's a wall, it's up high. And if you kind of crawl over the wall, there's like a little trail down there and mm. you can you can literally start taking that trail off into the wilderness. Well, okay. I did that and I went down the trail a little ways. I was probably, let me paint this picture. I was probably um, distance wise from the wall in the parking, parking area, I was probably no more than 50 or 60 yards, but I was right. probably 200 feet down. Okay. 150. So not really, you don't think a lot of people so would I'm frequent that hill. area, right? Yeah. I'm down the hill and there's kind of a wash coming through there. And what mm-hmm. I did was I positioned myself behind this big old dead tree. So there's crazy branches and things all over. Right. It was really a lot of shrubs mm-hmm. and I'm kind of down in this notch actually in the river rock nice sandy place i put my chair down i'm happy i hid behind that because i didn't want people up above in the overlook you know staring at my back i just wanted to feel some sense of you know solitude so i can hear them because they're a lot of noxious piece of shit little (sighs) chirping birds up there can anyone say rant however people god you know when you're in a wilderness area have some fucking respect you know just like Enjoy the quiet and solitude instead of being, oh, did you see, you know, what did your kid do? Oh, did it, it's like, shut the, leave, why can't you just do your city talk in the city? Leave it, at, leave it in the city. Okay, go back to what you were saying. Okay, I'm trying you to ride, do my feel. thing, but yes. I did good. I did good. I was able to tune the chirping birds out, the human birds out pretty mm-hmm. well. And I'm doing my thing and all of a sudden I hear what sounds like somebody coming down the hill and I'm like, okay, fine. They'll probably turn off. They'll go up the creek some other way or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, it gets closer and closer and closer, and all of, and I'm thinking to myself, "Are you kidding me? Are they literally <laughs> going to walk right down exactly to where I am?" How weird is that? I mean, there's like 
infinite possibilities of other places to walk off of this trail. Are they literally going to come right down on top of me? Right. Okay. The noises get closer and closer, and pretty soon I realize they, this, these people are literally going to walk right down on top of me. Ooh. And I hear some more scuffling and some more rocks falling and this and that. And pretty soon I look over to my right, mm -hmm. and a dog... A dog comes around the corner. Right. I'm right out of the bushes, and <laughs> it starts walking right at me, okay? It gets within maybe two or three feet of me, and then the owner, mm -hmm. the dog's on one of those really long leashes that you wind up. It's okay. probably like a 50-foot mm -hmm. leash or something. Wow, it's a long leash. And this older guy kind of comes around the cor corner, and he sees me, and he kind of jumps. He was startled because yeah, right. he didn't know I was there. He's like, mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know you were there. And I was like, you know, this is... Thank God he grabbed the dog before the dog started licking the iPad. Okay, but he was a friendly dog at least. He right? was friendly, right. yeah. But no, I was sometimes people bring mean dogs, which I do not get. If your dog is mean at home, it's going to be mean out in the wilderness. Yeah. So Seriously. you know. So at this point, I'm like, okay, well, so much for solitude. And he, the guy was cool. He's fine. He walked off. He didn't, you know, invade my territory or anything. Right. A few minutes later, I'm just do 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 doing my thing, you know, writing, try, trying to be creative, and I hear something crash through another adjoining tree maybe <laughs> 30 feet away from me you're right in the wrong big spot noise. At the wrong time and it's not a bird right i know the sounds of birds right and so i thought what the hell was that and and at first i thought somebody was throwing rocks from above <laughs> right. and so i kind of I, so i'm like oh maybe they'll just stop or whatever so a few you know 30 40 seconds later boom another one it's right behind me and i'm wow. like what the hell and so I, I stood up and I walked around so that the people up above in the distance could see me. Right. And there was some sort of heavier set lady up there and she had something in her hand and I looked and I'm like, oh my God, that's a, is that a golf club? <laughs> and then she tees up and she hits a ball, which right. came right at me. It fell short, but... I'm, so it almost I'm, it could hit you. I'm totally perplexed. The woman is on the overlook golfing into the wilderness. Okay, so she's hitting golf balls into the wilderness, into the wilderness. where I am. And, and wow. And so I, you know, yelled at her. I yelled. I said, "What the hell are you doing?" You yelled right. up, and, and of course she hadn't seen me. Right. So she's like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry." And that was the end of that. Did but she it, move? Did she leave? Oh, her and whoever she was with. They they were. Up there chatting it up for like, I thought they would leave quickly. I it was an hour at least. Really? They were, oh God, I was obnoxious. But did they stop? You know? Yeah, they didn't hit golf okay. balls anymore, or at least not in my direction. And I couldn't hear, right. you know, they're that, swinging or anything that contact watching. between right. club and ball anymore. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure that they weren't. That she wasn't. But I'm thinking, is this what you do? You travel around to places like this and <laughs> tee off? How? Like how many of your fucking golf balls are, are in the desert? Are all over the American Southwest? That's really shitty. Because I mean, do you really think they go to try to find them to pick People them up? People just don't use their heads. You know, they're just so so. Not all people, but but some people, they're just scumballs. But on you know? top of that, don't Come golf on, balls man. cost money? Don't you have to pay for yeah, them? Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe she gets <clears> them <throat> free from a driving range or something. But oh, I don't know. But uh, I mean, on top of that, if that's a, first of all, it's wasting money. So, uh, for your, actually, first of all, that's fucked up to do... Environmentally. It's garbage. It's got to have... Yes. Some, I don't know what it does. It's got to have... Some, that but doesn't matter. At the very still, least of which... That's rude. Yeah. Very, if, especially if, you're, if you have no intention of collecting your balls. Right. You know, <laughs> keep your keep your balls to yourself. Yeah, keep your balls to yourself. I mean, just not to mention the hey, fact Gary, that just keep your balls to yourself. I try to, I try to use them often and keep them to myself. Yeah, you just slap me in the face with them. <laughs> pachoo, pachoo, pachoo. Seriously, he hits me in the face. I do not. You're so lying. He's the biggest I tea bagger do, ever. I'm, not I'm sleeping the and I wake up and ever. there are these balls on this my head. I'm lie. like, what are you doing? No, and he's just like, what do you think I'm doing? I'm making tea. What kind do you want? You're Earl Grey. And I'm like, Earl making, Grey. She is so making this what? up. What? What are you talking this about? This is not true. Like, come on, give me some ginseng at least. I bag you when you're sleeping. Oh my god. This is. In, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I know. This I'm joking. Is, <laughs> this is terrible. That was great. That's so anyway, Gary, can, can you please teabag me in my sleep just you, once so I can talk about it? Are, is That'd be fucking hysterical. Is everybody hearing this? <laughs> How cool am I? Like I'm asking She's my asking husband me. to teabag me in my sleep so I could wake up with balls on my face. I, don't, I just want to have balls on my face when I wake up and be like, what the fuck? And be like, oh, cool. Right on. And I'll just, I'll just like, I'll Oh, and that's what I'll you would do. Them. You wouldn't go into like complete shock and horror. No. All right. All right, you look would, at me. You might wake up, you know. No, I, no I'm not I saying not. once you knew what they are, no, but you would you have no problem. You know I wouldn't. 
You are the one who wakes up. All right, I will say this, and this is true. You I have to admit this. If I wake up Gary from a sleep, even for like a set, like or when he's trying to fall asleep, or whatever, he is grumpy. Because grumpy. there's a I reason. I don't wake up like that. I understand this, but there's a reason. Yeah, but don't because say that I, I would get upset if I got teabagged. I wouldn't. It's I'd probably I, start laughing. You might. It's because I know I can't fall back to sleep. If I get if I'm if I'm like about to fall asleep or I'm right. just at that moment and you come in I and wake me too. up, I have a hard time going I back to sleep. I have that same problem, but you know what? I don't so get it upset makes me about grumpy. it. Well, stop being grumpy. You don't see me getting all emotional when you come in. You know, if I go to bed at midnight and you come in at one in the morning, one Okay, but if you're asleep, but if I walk in the room, I've been working on the up. computer doesn't matter but i'm very courteous i do i try my best not to wake you up i do i like walking i walk in i'm like okay i'm gonna be as quiet as i can i know but you know i'm a light sleeper so i hear you anyway it doesn't matter every time you get up to pee everything you do i hear which is fine i'm I'm just saying i'm cool it happens i understand wait you did the other day was i taking a nap no or was i sleeping and you came in and you were just like all over the bed and you're being weird and you never really do that and i'm like i was sleeping and you're just like oh i'm sorry but you I wouldn't did. leave me alone that's correct i did but did i yell at you or get upset no actually you're very cool i just did think if my balls had been in your face it might no, be a different story that'd be funny i'd probably crack up <laughs> i'd be like right on my husband's cool He's you can't me. tell me <laughs> I, that'd be funny. I would, you know me. I joke around a lot. You can't I would tell laugh. me that you wouldn't think in your head he's lost his his marbles. No, I wouldn't. And he is. He's like secretly like the perviest guy I've no, ever met. No, I think it's funny because it uh, that would crack me up so much because you would never really do something I'm like gonna that. I'm going to videotape this. Go ahead. I would love it. <laughs> I swear to like you, a tea bag tea bag me and see what your reaction is. We can't put it up on the Vimeo. No, I obviously. know, but you know, but, I would laugh because that's all right. You know, when I do stupid things like that, like when I'll I'll be like, "Gary, hurry, come in the room," and I'm naked and my ass is up in the air and I'm like shaking it around, and you're just yes. like, "Well, I know, oh boy, I know." But but, the, but that's different than having a, you know a set of balls in your face and you wake up. I stick boobs in your face. But are when you're you doing sure stuff? that like what if you're having a nightmare and like I wake you out of a nightmare? Are you afraid? No, I'm afraid of physical injury. <laughs> Is going to happen Would to you, your balls. Well, you could turn into some. You could. You could sort really, of. Really, I could. Okay. No, you could revert back to your carnal instincts, your savagery. Oh, here we go. Because we're all of us human beings. We're all basically savages at heart, yes, right? Yes, yes. And we you are. could like so go evil. into bite mode. What if you like bit? Really? My balls? Now you're making fun of my big teeth. I, uh, are you afraid of these choppers? Did I say anything about the size of your monumental teeth? <gasps> I didn't see. really okay. So that's what you're afraid of. You're you're secretly afraid of me biting no, your balls. I did that for effect. You know. Well, okay. You can teabag the top it of my would... head. You don't have to okay, teabag guys. my mouth. Do it on my head. Guys, if you had an How open... is that near my mouth? Guys, if you had an open invitation to um to <laughs> wiggle your balls over your girlfriend or face whatever, or somebody else's head. face while she's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. As would shit. you not have a little bit of fear that <laughs> That she might, not thinking, not doing it on purpose, right. but because she's surprised that she might reach up and grab them and twist them or bite them or do something that you don't want to have happen all right, to but, your All right, but there's a difference though, okay? Because she's asleep. All right, I understand that. Okay. But being that I just said, I'm a light sleeper, I usually right. know what's going on. If you did that, first of all, if it were me doing that, okay, if I were going to teabag, let's say I had balls and I was teabagging you now. You know, whatever. Anyway, I would probably start laughing. I do this every time I take pictures of you sleeping with me or something like retarded like that. I start laughing. And I'm like, oh, no, I, I know, try but... not to, But wouldn't you start kind of laughing? Like knowing that you're going to stick your balls on my head. Like, wouldn't oh, you yeah, like... Oh, yeah, it would be hilarious. <laughs> you'd be, you'd... I'm not saying it wouldn't no, be funny as hell. No, but I would hell. hear you giggling. I would I'm not, know. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just... Like, I'm what just... is he doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like you're scary, like sneaking in bed, like <laughs> you know. And then he comes in, and you, you hear like thunderwear come down. You hear the slapping. Yeah. And you hear you like moving over my head. I would just start immediately cracking up because I know what's going to happen. I know I, I'm going to take balls to the head. I can see the I tweets now. I can see off. the tweets now. You're never going to guess what Gary did to me today. And it's like it would be what? funny. I yeah. don't know. Maybe I'll give Surprise it a shot. Surprise me, though. Don't do it like okay, in the you, next couple okay, days because I'll have, know you'll do it. I understand this, but you need to psychologically. <laughs> Okay, right now, okay, yes. you need to train your mind. Okay, okay Gary. This is what? important. Okay. Listen carefully. You need yes. to, maybe we need, we need some hypnosis here. Train your mind. Yeah. Tell yourself okay. that if you should wake up and there's <laughs> okay. a set of balls in your face, yes. you won't bite them. Okay. I You're not going to bite them. 
You're not going to flick them. <laughs> You're not going to whack <laughs> Why them. Why the fuck would I You're not going to do anything that could cause the owner of the balls right. physical discomfort. Okay. <laughs> I'm training my mind. You can lick the balls. Oh, really? That's oh, fine. how nice of you. You okay. can suck them gently. Oh, my gosh. But you cannot slap the balls. <laughs> wow. Did the hypnosis oh, work? Yeah, it so worked. My goodness. Wow. I had no idea that this podcast was going to spin into <laughs> this conversation. Look, you're getting embarrassed. I have tears you in my are eyes. red. Look at you. It is funny. That's funny. Why is it funny? I, I, I think I it's don't know. fun. Not just know. funny, it's fun. Yeah. It, it's exciting. It's living on the edge, Gary. Come on. <laughs> we live on the edge. We don't need any more edge. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, true. You can always use a little more edge, but I'm just saying. I'm a fun person. Okay. All right. So let me take this a step further. <laughs> okay. Let's go a step further. Okay. You want to live on the edge. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Got it. Actually, I would not do this what? because I would definitely be in fear of a huge problem. And that is like, like if I, if like you woke up and like, I was like trying to stick my pee pee in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this like, is really this going is, far. This is beyond balls. Wouldn't your instinct, cause see your instinct could be to bite. Like I would fear that. Like I would. Gary, I would like. Again, okay, I'm again, not going down this light road. Light sleeper. I would wake up. What if up. I was whacking your forehead with the <laughs> shaft? I would laugh. I would laugh. Like, doom, if you doom. put it on my, I, I will say this. If you put it, if you put it by my mouth, yes. right. As long as that, I probably would be a little weird because I'd be like, really, you want me to suck your dick? Didn't I just suck your dick? You know, like that might piss me off, and I wouldn't okay, bite it. So I wouldn't I'm do anything. Away from that I, I might. I might be like. Gary, could just be ask. Fist. You know that that would be. But if you did it on my forehead and like went boink boink, not very hard to where I'm. Yeah, no, no, a no I'm just saying head, like little dunk dunk. Yeah, I would crack like, up. Like, I would laugh. Hello, like you're knocking on a door. Dun, dun, wake like, up. Hello. Hello. No, and I'd be Is like, uh, that's what I'd be like. like Nobody's here right now. <laughs> Do oh not disturb. God. Sign is up on the door. No, I would be fine with that as long as you don't. Yeah, mouth. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't. I wish Put something in your mouth. I wish you could tell if people were really honest when they give you comments and things online. Because I would love for somebody who's actually what? done this what? to like comment, to go to your um, your uh, podcast and to comment Our on this on, okay this episode. Ours, we share it. and comment and say, "Hey, you That's know, I was teabagging my girl <laughs> while she was sleeping. when she was sleeping." Because I want to sure know. People have done it. Come yeah, but on, see, here's the thing. I need. I want the beta here. I want to know what happened. I want to know, but like, Gary, okay. I am not like. Will you okay, stop no, I this? understand you know that. Me. I, I am not that. like everybody. But as else. long as I know that there's at least one guy out there who's had his ball sack in his girl's face when she wakes up and like she laughed, then I would feel really super comfortable. I'd be like, okay, well then Tabitha is definitely going to do that. All right, that. first of all, you know, I she... asked you to do it. I, no, I asked understand. you to teabag me. You're in my missing. Sleep. I'm not missing the point. The I point get what is, you're trying is when you're to get. Sleep I and you understand. wake up, you might do something that you you don't because you're coming out of a crazy right. dream. Did you order a FedEx? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm just making sure because I don't want the FedEx guy to see me sitting here when I go like this. Why? Who cares? You probably make the dude's day. Well, really? Or what if I went on if that it's side? A dude. Well, actually, a girl, you could do it too. Yeah. Okay, well, I just don't want to be I offensive. wouldn't be surprised if you just took all of your clothes off and just like walked to the front door and got the FedEx. No, I'm like, have you, know you ever done that before? I did it with a pizza guy once. Yeah, I think a lot of people have done it with pizza guys. Though. No, I actually had sex with a girl in front of the pizza guy. He came in and he drank beer with You're us. You're kidding. We gave him beer and he hung out with us. See, I yeah. told you, you have these stories. It's a true story. It's a pizza, The pizza guy came and- We um, don't have a lot of time, yeah. but just give us the, the condensed version of this. What had, This is a great story. Okay, what is so- this? I've never heard this before, by the way. It was, um, I was married to my third husband and- We um, don't need those details. No, I'm giving just, the whole thing, the whole okay. story. All right. And we had people over. And we had people from his, from the office over, um, like a little office party, whatever, pizza. And everybody was like drinking beer and stuff like that. And um, well, we ordered the pizza. And the pizza guy came. And this girl, Melanie, and I thought it would be kind of funny to be completely naked when the pizza guy came having sex with each other. Oh, so you really took it a step further. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, now how did you pull that off? Did somebody else open the yeah, door? Yeah, somebody else opened the door and they, he came in. Right. And we're like, oh, hey, what are you doing? You know, like we're doing our thing. We're like, hey. And he's just like, uh, like, come on in. And he's okay, just- Okay, wait, what did, where were you and what were you doing when the door opened? What do you mean, where was I? Where were you on the floor? I was on, we were on the floor in okay. the living room. So it was visible. It was yes. close Oh yeah, to right him. by the front door. Like if you were to open our front door, right, and you look in, 
to okay. our carpet. So you there can you see are. you were right there. What, right there. And what were you two doing? What were you girls doing? We were having oral pleasure with each other. Like a 69 yes. kind of a thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And I looked out and I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And he's just like, uh, okay. You know, just kind of funny. He's like, and we're like, oh, sorry, did that offend you? You know, he's like, no, it's okay. And it was just really kind of funny. So we invited him <laughs> in. We're like, oh, we're having a party. You want some beer? And he totally came in and had beer with us. That's awesome. And then we took pictures. I had pictures of it. Oh, is that right? And the guys were in his, I can't say the pizza place of name of the guy with his hat. I had to find it. Yeah, he's wearing his pizza hat. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Did, did he, how long did he stay with you guys? It wasn't long because he had to deliver more pizza. Sure. He didn't want to get in trouble. Some, some other but people But we invited him back. Right. You know, but every time like any other pizza people came, they were always like, Kind of looking inside, oh, you know, because he told. He, he told. told the story. But no, nothing ever happened since then, but oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that he wrote that address down, oh, yeah. and it was like right next to the phone, uh-huh. just in case. Exactly. <laughs> so. It was funny, though. It was just kind of a, you know, how many, you know, we were hoping it was going to be a younger guy, which it was. Right. Because what if it was somebody who was uptight, like, oh, Yeah, or but like this guy Mormon or something, right. But this guy, I, he had delivered pizza before, so we figured it was probably going to be the same guy. Okay, okay. So... That's it was just kind of funny. funny. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. I have see, him holding up cool. a beer, cheering with us, like with our asses out in the air and like a crazy position or Where our legs are these up in the photos? air. Uh, I have them somewhere. Here's the deal. We're getting you a scanner and I'm going to teach you how to use it. And you can sit there you and know, scan these photos. Like I don't have enough shit photos. to do. I understand. Well, I know we had that discussion, but here's the deal. This is great material. I know. And you can put a little story on it and we can put mm-hmm. it on your te- on onto your website right. which is tabithestevens.com. Yes, let's put let's put I'll put the no, old journal back thing. up. No, this is the thing. Okay. Yes. You know what I did? I went and did kind of like a journal, but it was more like a uh what is my scrapbook of um things that you know, some pictures I've had and you know, things that I've done in the past. And I put it together and we had it on my website and I think we took it down. Well, we switched that. We changed up the website. We changed the format of the website. But I'll put them back on. I think we should. But here's the thing: you need to find some more of funny. this old stuff. Uh-huh. Scan it. Right. And I'll do that. And you can put these you things just block up. Out their these things are things of course, of course. Okay. If it's a product, we'll block it out. If it's a person, okay. we'll protect them. Yes. Okay. But I like that. We'll protect them. But we'll <laughs> we'll put. But you can you know hand right. write in. I know you don't like to you know enter into things into word processing programs, right. but just you know hand write in. The little story. Oh, this is the pizza boy that, you know, showed up while I was having sex with, you know, whatever. Right. That's funny. Well, it's a true story. But that's great because, see, that just shows how you take it to the next level. Like I said, I'm sure there are a lot of women Mm -hmm. who have, you know, just as a joke, been naked when the pizza guy showed up. But you guys are like, you're with another girl on the floor having sex. That's funny. Yeah. And that's a story... People are going to be like, oh, that's whatever. You know what? That's a story that that guy has for the rest of his life true and he that's hung out gift. with us we we invited him in he hung out we were all laughing having a good time and that's a gift you yeah. guys were cool mm-hmm. and you gave that kid a gift and that's awesome oh it's funny it's funny as shit that's awesome but see that's how i roll that's why it's okay to put balls on my face and uh, while i'm sleeping well, so okay so everybody's heard it <laughs> i have witnesses now yeah. So something tragic happens. I'm just kidding. <laughs> really? Actually, no. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. I, I would be. I would feel weird doing it. I don't know that I would. That's why I want you to do it. I, I want you to get over this fucking outside weirdness outside of my skin. No, because I'm not a pervy guy, but and it's I would not feel this, like right, I'm being right. a pervy First guy. First of all, let me explain something before we wrap this up. Okay. 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 To me. You're my husband. Okay. All it right. is not pervy. It is funny. I asked you just as you a, said it to be funny. Okay. It's okay. not like, oh, I'm going to keep sticking my balls in her face while she's sleeping. Right. Okay. All right. If okay. I did it every every day, it would be, get, get a little that old. That would be I'm weird. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But, but I like, mean, just for fun. Then you'd be like, oh, yeah, he is a pervy guy. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for listening to Anything Goes with Tabitha Stevens and Gary Arona. And um, yeah. So uh, we'll see you guys soon. I, I, I got to go. Um, I'm going to get ready for balls on my face. Well, actually, on my head. How about my forehead? Smack, 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 smack. Thank <laughs> you.